So Richard, why are you a Christian on the left? That's a very good question, Andy. I think probably the best way to describe it is, is because politics can be very lonely. And actually being in a place where you can share, where you can reflect, where you can get encouragement is really very important. A Christians on the left provides some really good um, inspiration. It's a place where we can be challenged. Um, it's a place where we can share without fear of um, of being criticised at all, and I find it a really useful a like thing where I can go and find a lot of encouragement. Um, and I know it's good for like Christians to be able to be relate, and you get difference of opinions as well. Sometimes out there in the world, you can think, oh well, that you. I like that you're by yourself, but actually to be with like-minded people can be really, really encouraging. And so why would you say you're on the left rather than in any other different part of the political spectrum? I think that probably goes up to, ch uh, that goes back to childhood, where I always felt that there was a, like the need to a, like, stand up for those who were underrepresented. Um, and Jesus' passion for the poor to actually get um, better equality. You can either sit on the sidelines or you can work with people, with like-minded people, where you can actually not just talk about making a difference, but actually do it as well. And I like just to be with Christians on the left, there's a great source of encouragement. And in a world that is very discouraging, to be encouraged and to get resources is really very important. Fantastic. And tell us a little bit about what you actually do uh, and what you've done as a councillor. Okay. Uh, you've not just talked about this, you've actually done it, haven't yeah. you? Okay. I've been a councillor since 1991. In 1991, I had hair. So, <laughs> all, so um, all those years, probably uh, like fighting for people, fighting for campaigns, um, always try and keep in touch with people. Like People say with MPs or councillors, you're very out of touch, but actually, if in what everything that you can do, the key that I found is you make it local, you make it personal, and that you make it relevant. And that, and that when you're fighting for people, um, you're actually doing it because that you've got that cause um, and that zeal within you, and actually that you learn a lot. Um, and actually fighting for people is something that I actually enjoy because there are lots of people who don't know how to do it. And to be able to fight their court, whether it's an individual or even together with a group of people, um, is really something I quite enjoy, it's quite stimulating and can be rewarding when you get results. You have to call it at the same time that you need um, a strong coat of shield because mm. you get lots of things thrown at you. But um, actually fighting for people who can't necessarily do it for themselves is something that I like doing. And give us one example of something that you've sorted out for someone. Okay, something that I've sorted out for somebody. Let me give you one of the mo more um, extreme examples. This guy had a really big problem to do with antisocial behaviour and a fence that belonged to the council but they would not repair. It took me a long time, probably two or three years, but we persevered and at the end he got his new fence. And if that was just like one thing that I'd done to make it, him feel more secure and to stop some of those things happening, then I was pleased about that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thanks for chatting to us, Richard. Okay. Bless you.